this problem, we have a fourth order linear differential equation that's equal to zero. That means it's homogeneous. So the first thing you want to do in a problem like this is write down the auxiliary equation. So you look at the order of the derivative. So in this case, this is the fourth derivative. So you write down m to the fourth. And then plus eight. This is the second derivative. So this is m squared and then plus 16. And then think of y as the zeroth derivative. That would just be m to the zero, so you don't have to write it. And then you try to solve um, this equation. So I believe this factors, maybe something like this, m squared and then m squared. You need two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to eight, so uh, four. So four will do it. And then this is equal to zero. All right, so you end up with uh, m squared plus four quantity squared. And I wanna emphasize that um, it appears twice. So we're gonna have uh, an answer of multiplicity two. So you just set this equal to zero. And then you solve for m, so subtract the four. That gives us m squared equals negative four. And to get rid of the squared, you take the square root, take the square root, so you end up with m equals uh, plus or minus 2i. So we have complex uh, conjugate solutions. You can think of this as 0 plus or minus 2i. And so our answer has the form alpha plus or minus beta i. So alpha here is uh, 0 and beta is 2. And so what happens is uh, when you get an answer like this, your answer has the form c1 e to the alpha x cosine beta x plus c2 e to the alpha x sine beta x. Now, this is multiplicity 2. So that's the key here. So this is multiplicity 2. And you know that because um, the m squared plus 4 term appears twice. So what's going to happen here is we're going to use this formula, and then we're going to use it again, and we're going to multiply it by x because we have multiplicity two. So the final answer is y equals, uh, note that e to the zero x is one. So all the e's are gonna go away because alpha is zero. So we'll just get c1 cosine of two x plus c2 sine of two x. So this would be the answer if it was multiplicity one. But because it's multiplicity two, you have to write it again, and then you have to multiply by x. So it'll be C3x cosine of 2x plus C4x and then sine of 2x. And so that would be the final answer. Uh, a little bit harder than some of the other problems because you have a repeated complex root. And that, that occurs uh, when you have a situation like this.